Okay, before we start to talk about what the measurements are, we need to look at what does measure mean. What does it mean to measure something? There's three things we can talk about. Measure means to find the size. Size is the first thing. Speed. Speed is the second thing. And or amount. Amount is the third thing of something using a tool. So measure means to find the size, the speed, or the amount of something using a tool. And this, of course, here, this thing right here is a tool. What is this tool doing? It's measuring the size of the apple. So size, when we talk about size, we can answer the question, how big is it? How big is it? How big is this apple? We're talking about the size. Speed, in this case, we're talking about how fast is it? So we use a different tool to find out how fast something is. So we want to know the speed. Here, the amount, when we talk about amount, in this case, we can ask how much is, whoops, how much is there? How much is there? What's the amount? Is there a lot or is there a little? How much is there? So three things. One, size. How big is it? Two, speed. How fast is it? Three, amount. How much is there? We use tools to find out the answers to these questions. Tools help us observe things. When we're observing weather, we are measuring the weather. So that's what it means to measure something. Now, when we measure things, one thing about the weather we can measure is the temperature. The temperature, right? So we can measure the temperature. Temperature is how warm or cool something is. Remember, I taught you that word in Unit 5. So if we take a look at this chart, right, we have two systems for measuring temperature. In Korea, we use Celsius. In North America, especially America, they use Fahrenheit. These are differences of temperatures. These relate. 95 degrees Fahrenheit is 35 degrees Celsius. Okay? So temperature is how warm or cool something is. Obviously, this is very warm. That's very hot, isn't it? If the weather is 35 degrees Celsius, whew, that's really hot. You're sweating a lot. But if the weather, for example, is 11 degrees Celsius, then that is very cold, right? So what's the temperature? How warm or cool something is. What do we use to measure the temperature? What is the tool we use to measure the temperature? We want to know how much of something is. What is the amount? What is the amount of temperature? We use a thermometer. Thermometer. Let's repeat that. Thermometer. A thermometer is a tool used to measure the temperature. How much warmth or how little warmth is there? What's the amount? In this case, wow, it's very hot, 40 degrees, right? 40 degrees is very hot. This thermometer tells us what the temperature is. If the thermometer swings over here, this, of course, is the needle. <clears throat> if the needle on the thermometer is over here, it's cool or cold. If it comes over here, it's hot. So the thermometer lets us know, it helps us measure the temperature, the amount of the temperature. Let's move on. Here we have a rain gauge. A rain gauge is another tool. This is a rain gauge. It's a tool. A rain gauge is a tool used to measure how much rain has fallen. How much? What are we talking about? How much? Are we talking about size? Are we talking about speed? Are we talking about amount? How much is there? We're talking about amount. How much rain came down? We use a rain gauge, and if this fills up, we can see, ah, that's how much rain came down. It's a rain gauge. 
So we use that tool to determine how much of something there is. Rain gauge. In this case, how much rain came down. We also use another tool called a wind vane. Wind vane. This is an example of a wind vane. It looks like something you'll see on a farm. Farmers like this because there are many chickens or roosters on a farm. So this is a, a nice or common shape for American farms. We'll have this type of wind vane. A wind vane is a tool used to measure the direction the wind is blowing. Which way is the wind blowing? So we can also talk about direction, right? Here we have west, east, south, north. So depending on which way that uh, rooster is pointing, we can see, oh, the wind is blowing from the west, going east. Or the wind is coming from the north, it's going south. Where is the wind coming from? That's the direction of the wind. We can use a wind vane to, to, to measure that, to figure out where is the wind coming from. Now, that's what I just talked about, direction. What direction? Direction is the path of something. If the wind is coming from the west and going to the east, what is the direction of the wind? It's blowing in an easterly direction, in an easterly direction. What is the direction of the wind, right? What is the direction of this man? He's going away from us. He's not coming towards us. He's going away from us. Is he going to go right? Is he going to go left? What direction is he going in? What direction is something moving in? So this is direction, the path of something. Now, blow. We can also use the word blow. Blow means to move air through space. So the wind blows. If the wind is blowing, it is moving. We can measure the direction, we can measure the speed, right? So when we talk about blow, we're talking about moving air through some space. The wind is blowing or the wind is not blowing. It is not blowing, it is not moving. Lesson 6. Measuring the Weather Measure. Measure means to find the size, speed, or amount of something using a tool. Temperature. Temperature is how warm or cool something is. Thermometer. A thermometer is a tool used to measure the temperature. Rain gauge. A rain gauge is a tool used to measure how much rain has fallen. Wind vane. A wind vane is a tool used to measure the direction the wind is blowing. Direction. A direction is the path of something. Blow. Blow means to move air through space.